Good morning, friends. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, um, I do like lifestyle, motherhood, finance, <laughs> vlogs. If you're interested in that stuff, um, I'd love to have you subscribe. But today I'm starting my, I can't see out of my mirrors. This is a problem. We only have one car. So my husband and I both drive it and He's much taller than me, even though he's not tall. <laughs> so I am headed to get a coffee. It's Friday, 7.56 a.m. because it's moving weekend, y'all. From today till we leave on Tuesday, which I'm not gonna talk about it right this second because I will cry. <laughs> Ben decided to take today off. Ben's my husband, if you're new, so that he could, we could kind of like ease into the weekend and he didn't have to worry about working and honestly, he didn't have that much going on anyway. I am very anxious, very sad as I am. Hopefully this will be like one of the last <laughs> videos where that's all that I'm talking about is being anxious and sad, but that's like all that I feel currently. So it's just sad to leave a place that you love and we don't know if we'll be back. Currently it doesn't feel like we will be. So yeah, just struggling with that. And then I'm also struggling with the fact that I'm moving into a house that I've never seen in person. I don't know why that like didn't click for me until yesterday. I saw it via photos and I saw it via Ben's sister uh, and dad when they went and toured it so like other people have been inside the house but like I haven't which is weird to think about like we're moving halfway across the country into a house that we've never been in I feel like some of the weight that I gained I gained or that I lost I gained back so I'm really struggling with that because like my thyroid being so off and then obviously with all the stress and stuff I'm just like not feeling my best. I went up to Wake Forest and got a coffee that I have here. Hi baby. Are you playing? So I think today what we're gonna do is I went and got my coffee. Ben went to do disc golfing his last time doing that here. I'm gonna put away some laundry here while Ivy plays in her crib. Don't worry. She doesn't sleep in there so those blankets aren't in there when she's sleeping, I promise. We have a lot of packing to do this weekend and it's supposed to rain all weekends. I have therapy from 12.30 to 1.30 because Ben wasn't going to take today off originally. He decided on like Monday. I had already scheduled therapy for today during his lunch hour. So I'll do that, which will be my last therapy session with my current therapist. Although I've already got booked to like intro calls with different therapists um, back in Illinois that I'm gonna do when I'm back there. So that's good. I'm gonna try to jump right back into therapy because I definitely need it through this transition. After therapy, I think the plan is to go for a walk somewhere to get dairy-free ice cream again because <laughs> we're obsessed and we obviously can't get it after this. So I'll take you guys with, but I'm just gonna check to see. Some of these like smaller businesses aren't open as often as you might think that they would be. They are open. It's called Plant Cakes Bake Shop. They have um, donuts and gluten-free, dairy-free food, all kinds of stuff, but I just want the ice cream, you know? We have just a lot of stuff that's not fully packed yet. Obviously my whole closet isn't packed because I'm just planning to can you even see that? I'm just planning to put garbage bags around my clothes and go. That's what we're thinking, right, Ivester? I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can during our move too. It will be harder because I'm just like not used to vlogging in front of people and like my mom, my dad, my sister will all be here and then Ben's dad and Ben's sister. <laughs> will be here. Ben's dad decided last minute that he's gonna come and help us, so I'm really excited that he's coming too. He's never met Ivy, my mom's never met Ivy. Ivy's gonna be five months old in a couple days. There's just like so much going on. Can you tell I've had coffee? I have energy right <laughs> Ivy is in a bit of a mood today, or this morning, not really sure why. What's going on, babes? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you hit that. But this is a little look at this room. It's just her clothes in there. So basically still have quite a bit to do as far as packing goes. Wow, this is dirty. Ivy likes to touch <laughs> the mirror. I actually haven't been weighing myself like Weight Watchers stuff because with my thyroid being off and then just like, I don't know, my stomach's been off and with the move and the stress, I just feel like if I don't gain a bunch of weight, it will be surprising. So I don't wanna like focus on that just because it'll make me feel terrible and I don't really need anything to make me feel terrible, terribly right now. I'm gonna try to update my budget while she's playing on my computer here, which also needs to be packed. Okay, it's now 12.28. I literally shoved prepackaged chicken in my mouth <laughs> and like a little chocolate and now I have therapy. I'm at my computer. In fact, after today I can probably pack up this computer because I'm not going to be using it the next few days. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit down. I think I'm just sad, but I'm also like low energy. It's like gray and like cool out today and it's supposed to like literally pour the rest of the time we're here besides today so we were going to try to like go for a walk and do stuff today but it's still it's like gloomy today too maybe raleigh is sad that we're leaving <laughs> but i'm gonna log on to my therapy call and then hopefully we'll find something to do this afternoon good morning friends it's the next day saturday there's ben Insane. We actually um, have had an interesting morning. Ben woke up with Ivy, hung out with her, aka napped with her. Yeah, I was gonna say after we after we played for a while, we napped together, which is yeah. great. I feel like way better after that. So yeah, I went and got a coffee because I slept in while they were up. And now we've been well. Ben mostly has packed this stuff up in this room while I was putting Ivy down for her nap. He like wrapped up my Harry Potter, or technically it's Ivy's, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the canvas. Yeah, and then we've got Brown. my desk taken apart. We moved the fin stuff, we moved the uh, rocking chair into our room for now because my family's gonna be here, so we need a space to be able to put Ivy down. Biggest thing is we took this downstairs, that changing table that's normally there. I'm gonna leave a couple things in the closet for now just because they're like valuable. But this room is almost cleared out. I'll probably do like a vacuum and a quick dust clean in here. Yeah. Although to be honest, this is probably the least dusty room in the whole house. Hoping we can get this stuff done by lunch because then my office will be Kind of like this afternoon's project. Yeah. Which... This one looks scarier. It does look scarier. Honestly, I think it's it looks a little worse than it actually is just because there's so much stuff. We're also going to try to go get ice cream ice cream cake today. Benjamin wants... We tried to go yesterday. Oh, Benjamin, Benjamin wants... Boy, no, you want the ice cream cake. That's the part. I want the ice cream. I was like, I was like who's the one driving this trip? Yeah. Who's the one? But he... Hmm. <laughs> No, I, I really want the ice cream cake though. Yeah, well, I got sick yesterday, so we didn't end up going, which sucked. Okay, don't mind how dirty the car is, but we just got some ice cream. I got a gluten-free vegan brownie to go with it. Ben, though, can you show them? Yeah. Look at this thing. The ice cream cake? Yeah, it looks really good. Um, we got that from the plant cakes place again we're eating it in the car because as you can see it's raining and it's fairly cold out so and ivy's eating her own thing over there Hello guys, it's 7.45. You just saw, this is from two rooms. Disgusting, the amount of dander and dirt and hair. Most of it's dirt, to be honest. In Ben's room, I think I also showed a clip of like where he rests his slippers on the wall. I'm so <laughs> irritated with him. He's gonna have to clean the wall. I am doing that. Um, ben is putting Ivy to sleep. We gave her a bath. 
she's actually been really good today, but she definitely was hitting her limit this evening. We got my goal mostly done, which was to clear out the two upstairs bedrooms. They're clean except for the walls. Finn and Cora are like super anxious too, which I'm trying to be patient with them, but they're just like getting in the way and kind of being super clingy. I'm gonna do, put away some dishes and stuff, but hi Bobas. Finn Finn, you okay? Yeah, you're a little anxious. Finn's never moved. He's only from here. So pack and play. These are just like boxes, a half ready box. That's all Ivy's stuff. We've got an office box here. And then we have all of this stuff. This is basically all from Ben's office. And then like a couple of pictures. His desk is over there. We brought the changing table down here. This is his keyboard and part of our infrared sauna. I'll show you what the outside looks like. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff out here. These are still boxes. I believe there's a little bit of giveaway stuff back there for Goodwill. This is basically like my office, Ben's office. To be honest, as I'm looking at this, this makes me very afraid that we're not gonna be able to fit this all in the U-Haul. <laughs> the other problem is like a lot of this stuff needs to be cleaned. It's 10.56 on Sunday. I have no idea when my family is getting here because nobody has told me <laughs> the ETA. We did like a grocery haul for the trip and for the next couple of days, of course it was like, how much was it? $138. So we got two things of formula for Ivy because they were out at all the targets that we normally get them from. So I bought two just in case because I don't want to run out without time to reorder some. So basically this is the food for the next few days. The plan tonight is to get burgers out somewhere. I'm gonna make chili that we can have for lunch today and tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, we're gonna have tacos, so we bought like stuff for tacos. And then if we have anything left over, it'll just come with us. For Tuesday, I believe we're going to order pizza for lunch, which I won't be able to eat, so I'll either eat leftover tacos or I'll buy like sushi or something, because that's the day that everybody's packing the U-Haul and we'll have like more people here. Tuesday night, We'll probably get food out somewhere. Wednesday on our drive, we'll have peanut butter and jelly for lunch unless people wanna stop and get their own food. And then dinner, we're gonna make spaghetti. So hopefully that wasn't confusing, but that's the plan for the next few days. Very like packaged -y food, but we still tried to get some healthy options, I'll show you. Just because I assume most of you already know, Ben is dairy-free and I am gluten-free and mostly dairy-free. So that's what most of this haul will be, but my family is not either of those things and neither is Ben's. So anyway, we have, these chips need to be thrown away, but we already had some chips, but we got apples and bananas for the trip. Romaine, Ben likes that for tacos, tomatoes for tacos. We got some oven roasted turkey breast, just like if people wanna eat that. We got some queso blanco. This is for the chili. This was an already pre-made garlic bread that I'm gonna bring with us to eat on whatever day we, what day was that? Tuesday night, Wednesday night, something like that. I won't be able to eat this, but everybody else can. We got one super healthy bread and one not as healthy bread, just because, again, not everybody cares about that kind of stuff. Himalayan salted dark chocolate. Oh, I also have gluten-free bread in the fridge, which I'm gonna use, but these are really good. Looks like Ben got himself some nuts. These are for the chili. Um, I should have told Ben to get gluten-free, but I guess I just won't have any pasta. Gluten-free spaghetti for me, and then there is a regular spaghetti for everybody else that we'll have this Rayos with. Then I got some chips for tacos, and then two, brand two of these kettle chips. Again, these will probably just be for like the next couple days if we need a snack and or on the road. We got two things of ground turkey, chili beans. I got some green chilies and some diced tomatoes back here, some salsa, and then some organic chunky peanut butter for Ben. And then these are like the non-food items. We got batteries because we have a couple of smoke detectors that 
here that needed to be replaced. We got some storage bags just for like nails and you know, like all the nails and screws that go into our bed or Ivy's crib so we don't lose them. We got this lock for the U-Haul and then I just needed some panty liners because I think I'm getting my period at some point in the next few days. Which quite honestly is just not fair. <laughs> So we'll see if that happens. But anyway, Ben's putting Ivy to sleep. The house doesn't look too bad. I did vacuum a little bit this morning just so it wasn't like full of hair. I have a headache today, which is not great. But I think the plan is to put Ivy down for a nap. I'm gonna start lunch and like prepping some of this food. We need to still go to Goodwill before my family gets here, but Goodwill doesn't open till noon. So depending on how long Ivy sleeps, sometime afternoon we're gonna run up there i might just have to like leave a key for here because again nobody's told me what time they're coming so they could be coming at one or they could be coming at three i have no idea anyway i'm gonna put all this stuff away and then i'll show you guys bits and pieces of what we get up to we need to basically pack up our room today and our bathrooms upstairs that's the biggest thing, and then probably start on the kitchen as well. This one is just not in a napping mood today, right, Ivy? She's got lots of energy. Whoa! We put her down, and she's down for like a half hour or less, what which is not You're great. Crazed. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> we have a bottle going for her right now. I made some taco meat just for it to be prepared, and then I made chili that is boiling so I should probably take that off of there. Sounds like my family isn't going to be here for another like two and a half hours at least. We're going to feed her, feed ourselves, and then go up to Goodwill and then hopefully actually start packing this afternoon because we haven't done anything. Ben cleaned his gross wall. Yeah. Here's the garage so far. Very full of stuff. I don't, I'm a little worried about how this is all gonna fit in the U-Haul, but, and there's still quite a bit in the house. Feeling tired, but good. I think the only other thing we're gonna do tonight, it's Monday by the way, is try to fully clean out the kitchen and the bathrooms. That's like my goal, but Ivy's needed contact naps today. So I did a lot of that, which is exactly what I should be doing. But yeah, I'm a little nervous about how this is all gonna fit. Wish us luck. Look at me vlogging. <laughs> Well, I didn't see it that time either. Yeah, be careful, Bubba. 